As you go to Blazers, we're going to bring you specifications you can relate to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. We're going to be introducing myself to slip joint knives. And then we do have a new knife that came out. Um, it was on Kickstarter uh, for, it came out to be $25. Now you can get it for $34.99 through their site. Uh, so it is up and running. It just came in uh, the other day. Uh, so I'm going to show it to you. Uh, but I'm going to go through some of the ones that I have in uh, for slip joints so I can get an idea these for myself as far as what I'm comparing it to, how this is going to hold up. Uh, the knife that I picked up uh, is the Rake. Uh, this one is the Rake um, LD11-B. Uh, so this is a 12C27. Uh, so fairly nice. And then it also does have um, something that's something that is kind of useful. Uh, it's a, it does have a glass break on it. And then also does have, where to go? Oh, there it is. So it also does have a pair of tweezers uh, that come with it. So one thing about this one that was kind of an oddity, uh, it is a slip joint, uh, but they did have a liner lock uh, that kind of came over. It wasn't a very strong lock, but there was something that kind of blocked it off. Uh, so I took off the scale, heated it up, and uh, I should have done this outside, but uh, it kind of added some smell in the house because I did use a lighter uh, to heat up uh, the screws because I had the red Loctite on it, so it didn't come apart. Uh, but that's what now uh, worked to heat it up. I was able to take it apart and then I just bent the liner over. Uh, so it was actually facing a little bit outward. So when I put the scale on, it's now flush. Uh, so now there's no lock for it. And so it is now just a slip joint that I could utilize uh, one handed deep carry pocket clip. Uh, so if you like this one, this is a pretty decent price. I think it was like 40 or $50 for this knife. Um, and 12C27 isn't a bad steel to go with either, uh, but uh, that's that one for you. Uh, so that was the knife that I own uh, for uh, the lot that I'm going to show you. The other ones are going to be ones either on loan. Uh, this one's the one I bought as well, uh, but uh, one uh, from Manly. Uh, they have the Wasp. Uh, this one's over from uh, Jack Farmboy, so check out his site uh, or channel. Uh, he has a lot of different storytelling things. Uh, so uh, he just passed his thousand subscribers. So I think he's probably right now probably uh, well over 1100 uh, subscribers. So uh, that's the Manly Wasp. Uh, so one thing uh, you notice straight away uh, is uh, this one has three stops. So it's basically one, two, three, closed. And then same with the open side, one, two, three, open. Uh, so that's one thing that actually uh, for me, uh, it really ruins the knife. So if I owned this knife, uh, I would be actually probably trying to grind it or trying to figure out a way to either have it just be uh, maybe this stop or this stop, but that true half stop, uh, and then actually have that be the only one because it actually almost seems to add a little bit uh, less safety because you're trying to close it and then you're just notching down all the way other than just a regular half stop. Uh, which will just have the half and open and then half and closed. Well, this is not really half, but you get what I'm talking about. So that's that one. Uh, so for the Manly Wasp, it has um, some decent ones. D2, 12C27. Um, they have the S90V and something else, but uh, sometimes they run sales. Uh, so if you're wanting to pick them up, uh, then go and do that. Uh, but um, that's the one thing that, yeah, it just... Everything else is pretty decent for it. I like the style. I do like the red and black uh, that they have available too, uh, but uh, just these stops really take it away from me um, and it makes me not want to buy it. And unless I got a really good deal, uh, then I'm going to try and grind it so it actually just has a single half stop uh, instead of all those other ones. It just really takes away from it uh, for that. So thank you to Jack Farm Boy for letting me see that. Uh, and then uh, we do have uh, two other knives from uh, Grateful Panic. Uh, so check out his channel as well. Uh, so he has a channel. He's part of the Pass Around group. Uh, so he lent, lent me two knives because uh, I was talking about as far as wanting to pick up a GEC 15. Uh, trying to see, okay, well, which one would I get into? So he said that he had one, so he'll lend it over. Uh, so before you get the GEC 15, we'd have the Lion Steel. Uh, so the Lion Steel is the one that is the uh, shuffler and this one is a, a collector knife uh, exclusive uh, for this one uh, so just in comparison 
guess I'll bring out the other one too. Uh, so in comparison for it, uh, the GEC15, uh, there's the uh, green um, linen micarta. Uh, so also still half stop. So that's the Manly's only one with those odd stops to it. Uh, but just between these two, uh, this one is uh, quite a bit more expensive than this. But as far as fit and finish, uh, the GEC Great Eastern Cutlery uh, is the one that I would go with uh, just for overall finish. Uh, between the bolster here, there's no gaps. Uh, this one uh, still has a gap that's probably built into it, uh, but it just doesn't have the same finish to it. Uh, this is a crown spring. Uh, this one's a one that's a ground uh, flush as far as the spring uh, goes. So I don't know, just overall, uh, this one, as far as the Great Eastern, is the one that really would call to me more uh, than uh, the Lion Steel. Uh, Lion Steel has better steel for it. Uh, so this is uh, S, no, this one's M390 uh, for the steel here. Uh, but let's get into the one that actually is the one I picked up uh, for uh, this knife. So this is my introduction to uh, traditional knives. Uh, it seems a little bit more difficult in some sense to review. Uh, you're still going over action and things like that, uh, but uh, some of the uh, it is some of it's more fit and finish. So uh, this is uh, the two knives I picked up. So I picked up the ledge. Uh, so the ledge is actually from uh, a company that you probably know of, and then that's uh, called you know, Stat Gear. Uh, so Stat Gear brought out this one, the Osus. Uh, this one's in D2. Uh, so this is one that I actually really like. It's chunky. Uh, this one is uh, the micarta scales as well. A deep carry. Uh, we're really deep carry. Uh, and it's also ambidextrous as far as that. Uh, so you can swap it over to the other side. So they came out uh, with this one. I think Kickstarter as well. And then uh, regular sale. I got this one to Amazon. And then this is uh, from Kickstarter. Uh, so I got it for $25 a piece. It was at $50 for two. Uh, right now, you can get it through their website, uh, which is uh, statgeartools.com for $34.99 a piece. And there's three colors. There's going to be the black, uh, the orange, and the red. Uh, I picked up the orange and red. Uh, those are the ones that I got. So we'll see what those look like uh, here. Oh, let's see. Any tape? Nope. Maybe. Maybe we'll see how it goes. Hello. Open, oh, there you go. So, open the other one too. So, there's a red. It's a 2.5 inch blade. And so, it has the swedge that goes all the way down uh, the handle. Uh, so, it's a little bit smaller uh, for the, the scale. Uh, I would like something a little bit uh, more grip to it. The angled lines add some attraction to it as well as you're grabbing onto it, but the G10 just doesn't seem, have that same feeling uh, that I prefer. And this one has no stop, uh, so uh, something that's not great about that. Uh, and also with your finger there, um, I would like to have it where you could close it halfway and actually still have your finger in that groove. Uh, so that would have been a, a way to go for that. Uh, so you cannot leave your fingers in there uh, when you do this. Uh, so this has no stop to it. Uh, it's open. Uh, do the cuts that you need to. Get your finger out of the way and then close it down. Deep carry pocket clip. Uh, right and left hand uh, deep carry uh, for that. Uh, still has a lanyard hole for it. Um, for 25 bucks, not bad, but uh, it's missing that half stop. Uh, for it. So that's something that that isn't uh, the best, I think. Uh, so that's that ledge. So just in the, the brief experience I had with some of the slip joints that I showed you folks, uh, these are decent, uh, but um, yeah, it's missing a few little uh, flourishes that you're going to find on some of the regular traditionals. And I thought I got orange, but that's brown. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe I got brown. Uh, so I'll go and check my order to see what that is. But these are the two. Uh, so yeah, no half stop on it. Uh, it is the 
slip joint and it locks up well as far as no side to side uh, get in there use it very comfortable uh, still a pretty small knife but again uh, get your finger out of the way because if you look on here we'll go and zoom this in a little bit so when you close down the blade um, I would like it if I could keep my finger in there, um, but when you close it down, it actually doesn't have a groove. Um, so that's something that I'd rather have so I could close it down onto my finger, move my finger out of the way, and then close it the rest of the way, especially since it doesn't have a half stop uh, for it. So um, overall, um, I'm okay with it. I'm not totally blown away, especially in comparison to um, some of the other knives. Um, but I would still take it over the manly knife just because of the stops. Um, just too many. Uh, so I guess I'll take zero stops over three stops. Uh, but these are two knives. So check, check it out if you actually like it. Uh, again, on the website, uh, statgeartools.com. Uh, these are ones I just I purchased on my own. So no affiliation with them at all. Uh, these were not sent to the channel. Uh, so check it out. I'll ha probably have an update later on uh, for it. Uh, but then they do actually have uh, D2 steel uh, for both of them. Uh, so uh, the Statgear Osis is one that we sent out for testing before, and then it came back as it, it was D2, a proper heat treat. So I'm guessing that these will be the same as far as their attributes. And so thank you very much. Check it out for the ledge. It is $34.99 uh, through their website currently, if that's what you're looking for. And thanks again for your time.